I'm just sharing how I made this card using the following inks. My favourite background script stamp. That's a bit of a tongue twister. And this lovely toadstool. Just going to show you a different way of masking the stamp because sometimes you want the whole of the script to show, not just parts of it along the edge. And this is how I managed to do this. Inking up my toadstool with my VersaFine Claire. Some people say that they have problems getting a complete image, but if you dab it really well, have something underneath where you're stamping. And press the image down really firmly. Apply pressure to all the areas. You don't need to be in any hurry. This VersaFine Clear is a nice juicy ink pad. If you find yours is drying out, treat yourself to a new one because it's worth it for the nice clean image. Second stamping, I'm just going onto a piece of copy paper here. It doesn't need to be a clean image this time, but let me show you what I do next. I'm just going to spray some water onto my mat. I should really have bought a glass of water out with me, but I forgot today. So I'm just going to wet around my image. Move that out of the way, I don't want to get my whole pad wet. Just wet all the way around where I stamped. This is a technique I used to do a long time ago when I very first started doing card making on, I think they're handmade papers. You know, those fibrous ones that you don't want a nice, a straight cut edge. You want a raggedy edge, so I thought I'd try doing the same here on my copy paper. So just wet around the edge and gently pull the excess away. If it doesn't pull off smoothly, you might need to go back with a little bit more water. It seems to be going away. There you go. You can see that bit's dried out a bit more. A bit too much, so I'm just going to wet that and finish off. There you go. I might go back in a little bit closer in a minute, because I've missed a few bits out. See like that edge there, we're going to wet that and pull it off. Probably going to do the same in other areas, it's easy enough to do. You might want to leave a bigger edge but for this one I'm just going to bring it up closer to the edge like this and I can use it to mask the original stamped image on the card. doesn't matter about those tufts, I'm going to stamp over those ones anyway. Using my Distress ink onto my script, stamp all over the, dab it all over the block. Sometimes you see I gave it a little, almost a rub to the block. Because these pads are fibrous, it won't matter doing it that way. Give it a good coverage. Now I should have put that image on a dark piece of paper so I can see where I'm going. But I'm going to trim it down afterwards anyway so I think I'll be alright. Just apply pressure. There you go. And as I lift it you can see the 
masks come off with the stamp. Right, I'm just going to place it back on top of the stamped image. And then I'm going to use the same colour as I used on the script and a sponge. Sorry about this, it's always the last one you can find in the jar. A little rummage. And I'm just going to take some ink, dab the excess off and sponge it just on the edge of my mask. This will help make the image pop a little bit more. If you get it on the black where you've stamped, it will show up as pink. I don't know if you've ever done that yourself. In fact, sometimes I use the oxides over the top of a black to soften them. Give it a go, see what you think. But here, obviously, I didn't want it on the black. Now I'm just going to use the excess from where I stamped with a wet brush and colour in those lovely spots. Sorry, it's my camera's focused on the script and not the toadstool. I'll show you when I've finished. Almost coloured them all in now. Sorry, this takes time. You think you've almost done them and then you find one that you have missed. A bit of water. And there, there you go. That's that done. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my frayed burlap and colour the underneath of the toadstool again with a wet brush. Mm, I like that colour. Very effective. Just do that edge of the cup as well. Little dab. There you go. Now if you haven't used any of these Jelly Roll Stardust pens, I'd recommend you giving them a go. They're just gorgeous. So lovely and sparkly. And nice to add a little bit of colour here. Now you can see I draw it and then I just dab off the excess with my finger. There's no need to really, but I like to soften it. Or maybe I just like getting it on my fingers and being all sparkly. Batty woman. Now, I've got a little bit over the edge there, so I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to go in with a wet brush and smush it back in towards the stamped image and it fades and hopefully it will disappear. Okay. Sometimes you need to rescue something. That's me often actually been known to get to the middle end of an image or the end of a card and then think oh just needs a little bit more colour then muck the entire thing up. Right now let me show you another trick. I'm just gonna go around in circles on my craft mat, add a little bit of water and pick up the colour with my brush. Now this is as it's diluted it's basically just adding add a nice little bit of shimmer 
to the image. Very much like the Winker Stella pens with a faint touch of colour. I don't know if you can see it there. But it's, it's sparkly. There you go. And now I'm just going to add a few more details with my pen. I do these in lots of different colours. I've got quite a few. I've had for years actually, but it's nice that they now stock them at Lavinia. I'm just going around the edges of all these circles. Again, just dabbing and softening the edge. See, I told you I have to go back on something, just add a little bit more. Right, now I'm just going to add a little bit more of the colour over the edge to the edge of the cap. To the edge, not over the edge, to the edge. That's the one. There you go, hopefully you can see the lovely sparkle. I'm just going to go in with a mask, work out how I want it to go. I'm going to use the hickory smoke just to ground the image and move it around until I get the perfect shape. Yep, that's about right. Use my sponge and just smush it over the edge of the mask. Yep, might add a little bit more than that. Oh, I almost had, did it straight with my sponge and out the mark without the mask. That's one of my recipes for disaster. Usually that happens with the wrong colour. Ink completely. <laughs> I'm letting you into all my secrets today. But there you go. It's about right, I think. Yep. Put that to one side, I'll wipe it later. I'm just going to go in now with my white gel pen. Sometimes they dry out a little bit, but I find if I just rub it onto my hand, I don't know, the oils from my skin just get the ball of the pen moving. And there you go. The finished card.